Right, hi everyone. Now, this is a very, very quick video. Now, what you're seeing on the screen right now is a selection of pictures from the EM1X, Olympus EM1X. Now, I've recently picked up the OM Systems OM1, so I thought it'd be interesting to take a look at some images from the EM1X and compare. Now, as you can see, all these pictures, I, I use this camera predominantly for wildlife, and, you know, I've been absolutely blown away with this camera, you know, the portability, the image quality, the, just, I will say, every image is taken with exactly the same lens on both cameras. So all these are shot with the Olympus 300 f4 um, prime lens. But yeah, I've used this camera for about 18 months and, yep, been absolutely faultless. And I've only ever had one issue with this camera right from the very start, and it's always been the viewfinder. And other than that, this camera has been just fantastic. I cannot fault it. And to be honest, if it wasn't for the viewfinder, I wouldn't have even considered upgrading to uh, the new OM1. Um, but I just thought it'd be interesting to see some real world pictures, uh, real world wildlife, predominantly wildlife pictures, which, you know, is what I use this camera for, just to sort of compare, um, because really, there is nothing in it between these two cameras, absolutely nothing in it. And, you know, I've taken all these pictures, I've used the camera, I know for a fact the camera is very, very capable. And, you know, we're going to get into a few reasons, you know, why I've made the change over to the new OM1. Right, now, looking at the camera side by side, you can obviously see the EM1X is a much, much bigger camera because it's got the built-in battery grip. Now, I'm waiting for the, I think, HLD10 battery grip for the OM1 um, because I have very, very stupid big clown hands and it's a little bit fiddly um, for my hands. But really, uh, ergonomics, once that battery grip's on there, there, there won't be much in it. There's a little bit more sort of space for buttons on the OM1X. Um, I've, the battery on the new OM1 is far superior to the original Olympus uh, battery on the OM1X. That is one thing, but um, you don't get a charger with the camera, which is quite annoying. Um, but what we'll do is I'm going to put some video up. I'm going to go through what the viewfinders look like, and we'll get some pictures put up as well. And we can we can have a look at the two side by side and we can talk a bit more about why I've made the change. Right, now, everything you see from now, the videos just then, and every picture from now, were all taken on the new OM1. And, you know, don't shoot me for being terrible at video. That was just a quick sort of pre-programmed thing. Nothing special at all. It was just to see the, the video quality, and that was actually 4K 60p. Now, in all these pictures, I've been using the bird eye tracking. And to be honest, I'd, I'd never really sort of struggled with you know, focusing on, on eyes or anything before. The only thing that's actually improved with the eye tracking is that you can now sort of get your composition right, you know, in the camera, which is really quite nice without having to, you know, move the focus point around. Um, what I can say, I've, I've personally not really seen, you know, massive, massive differences in image quality. Um, and obviously looking at pictures side by side, you, I don't think many people would be able to. The only thing that I've really noticed is it is slightly better at higher ISO. 
Now, they're, you know, it's not very subjective. I've looked at these side by side and I can tell, you know, the old camera, I was very, very reluctant to go above like 1600 ISO. Um, on this camera, I would happily go to about 6400. Now, this picture of the barn owl was actually shot at 3200 ISO and it, it was slightly noisy, but it was a very, very fine grain. And, you know, there's so much detail still on this. It's incredible, really. I mean, if if I'd have took this on the EM1X, there would have been a loss in detail at ISO 3200. So that, obviously, having the um, the stacked new sensor um, has definitely, definitely improved. Um, and, you know, we're talking about fine margins, really, but it's nevertheless, it's a big, big improvement. And it's a welcome improvement. Um, and so is the viewfinder. Now, the viewfinder is, I think, the 5.7 million dots. And it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. If anyone's used any of the old Olympus cameras, you know, OM1, OM, uh, OMD1, and uh, Mark, Mark II, Mark III, and the AM1X, you'll, you'll know that the viewfinder is sort of its Achilles heel. Um, but like even this picture here taken of a chiff chaff really high up in the tree that's the bird tracking the eye tracking picked it up absolutely fine and this bird was flying so so fast um, so that's probably a picture I wouldn't have got um, on the the previous camera um, but really that's sort of what I just wanted to show you just how um, how I use the camera and my thoughts on it so yeah really in uh, summary um, if you sort of have the uh, EM1X already and you're happy with it and, you know, you you don't have any sort of, um, you're very happy with the viewfinder, uh, you're very happy with the battery life, um, you're very happy with the image quality, then I'd say, you know, why would you need to upgrade? But for me, the main reason to upgrade was, as I'd said previously, the, the viewfinder really was the thing I'd been waiting for. So I'd already, you know, saved money and set it aside to, you know, order the camera uh, the second it come out. Once I knew it had a high resolution viewfinder, that that was what changed it for me. Um, but yeah, hoped you liked the pictures. And if you've got any questions, drop them in the comments below and I'll uh, reply as quick as I can.